Good day, everyone. In our today's mathematics class, we'll be talking about indices. Now, I would like to give a definition of indices. Indices is a mathematical analysis or mathematical tools which is used conveniently for expression of index numbers. Now, now, what do you mean about index number? I'm going to talk about index number first. Index number. Index numbers are numbers are numbers which consist of both powers and and base. Now, when we have a this power b, a is called the base. Why the b is called the what the power? And we still have another name for power. The other name for power is called index, or we call it exponents, or sometimes they call it degree. Now, can you see a raised to the power b is called index number? So, indices is a mathematical expression of what index number. Now, our a is known as the base, our b is known as the power. The other names of power is called what index, exponent, or what degrees. Now, indices is guided with seven laws. We are going to look at the seven laws now because these, are, these seven laws are very, very applicable in all ways of mathematics. It's not only indices alone. In all mathematical aspects in mathematics, law of indices. Now we are going to see, start with the first law of indices. The first law of indices says that whenever we have the same base multiplying each other, we take one of the base and we add up the powers. Now look at it. We have a raised to the power n times a raised to the power n. Look at, look at what is the similarities there, yeah? What is here that is here? We have the base. The base are common here. Yeah? You have the base a here, yeah? multiplying base a. But the powers are differ. Which says the first law of indices says that whenever we have the same base multiplying each other, you take one of the base and you add up the power. Where we have a, what is the same base? The same base is what? a raised to the power what? m. Now, when the power, the powers now, the base are multiplying, why the power will what? add up itself? Which says that whenever we have the same base multiplying each other, we take one of the base and the what and the power will be added. Now, we take an example, e.g., when we have 40, 49 times 7 raised to the power 3. Now, from here, can you see in this page, do they have similar, do they have similar, base no but we can decrease 49 to the base of 7 which says 7 raised to the power what 2 look at how did i get that look at we have 49 what can go in 49 without remainder 7 can go in 49 without remainder how many 7 can we see in 49 we have what 7 now how many 7 can we see in 7 we have one so now the how many 7 do we have left to divide it we have what 2 7 which says 7 times 7 which implies 7 raised to the power 2. That is how we got what? 49 as uh, the what? The lowest base of 49, which is 7 raised to the power 2, times 7 raised to the power 3. Now, it's now applicable to the first law, which says that whenever we have the same base multiplying each other, you take one of the base and the power will be added, which says what? 2 plus 3. In this instance, we have 7 raised to the power 2 plus 3, we have what? 5. Now, in this instance, we now have 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Times seven, which means seven in many places, five places, which will give us sixteen thousand eight hundred and seven. So now we move to the second example under this first law of indices. Second example, we have four x raised to the power three times x raised to the power two. Now look at it in this aspect. We have four. Yeah, and we don't have four here. The four here stand as the coefficient. Now, with this instance, look at it. We have four x raised to the power three. Now, the four here is called the coefficient. The coefficient. And the x here is called the what? The base. And this three here is called the what? The power. Now, the only value. That the only variable that is carrying the power is for what is just x alone. But 4 is just a what? A coefficient of the base. 
Now, we move to the, in this instance, you can treat it like this. You can say that from here, there's an invisible one beside x. I said 4, x is power 3 times x is power 2. You can say there's an invisible one here. Now, mathematics involves, you take those things that are likely, likely terms. Now, first you said take 4, the whole number is there, 4 times 1, which is 4 times 1 in brackets. The next one in brackets, x raised to power 3 times x raised to power 2. Now, in this instance, in this instance, you have 4 times 1 will give us what? 4. From here, we can use the law of indices, the first law, which says that whenever you have the same base multiplying each other, you take one of the base and you add up the power, which says what? 3 plus 2. In this instance, we now have 4. We now have x in bracket, raised to power 3 plus 2 will give us what? 5. Now, in this instance, 4 times x is power 3 will give us 4x with power. So, 4 times x is power 5 will give us 4x with power 5, which is your what? Answer. We are going to put a stop here. The rest of the um, laws of indices, we are going to talk about that in our next class. But just make sure you join us on our YouTube channel and you also subscribe in our YouTube channel. Not on YouTube channel, we load. We have our Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, which is all the names. The ID there is called Samson's Tutor. So you can join us and don't forget, please subscribe to our YouTube channel in order to watch more of our tutorial classes. Thank you and God bless you.